Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Have you heard this before? Uh, Russia will respond. Um, that's an escalation. Hey, you are uh, directly involved in a conflict. All this coming from uh, the Russian um, leadership. And uh, each and every time, uh, nothing happened. Yes, it was an escalation. Yes, uh, the West brought uh, its best weapons in uh, Ukraine uh, to fight you. Uh, one by one, and you know, more uh, better and better and better weapons. Starting from the well, jav Javaniles, ending up now with long-range missiles, Patriot uh, systems, tanks, fighter jets. And Russia said, uh, Russia will respond. That's an escalation. Um, you are, that would make you an active participant in the conflict. And the West is like, yes, yeah, so, okay, bye-bye. So what happened now? Um, Germany, which seems to be under total control of uh, whatever forces out there, the United States is just a head office that barks orders and threatens other uh, allies, okay? That's all the United States is. It's not in charge. I think something else is in charge. Something else. So Germany, obviously, since they uh, uh, fired, they say she resigned, the former defense minister, can't remember her name, uh, she resigned for whatever reason. She just got uh, kicked out because she was uh, putting the brake all the time. Now we have Pistorius, who is uh, uh, a yes sir, yes sir at each and every request, requirement, demand coming from the, I don't know, the force, uh, it's going to send more Patriot systems and I will show you what the French will send. I already made a video on that once, so I'm not going to linger on that subject. So Sputnik, Germany to provide Kiev with $770 million aid package. This is military weapons to kill aid package, <laughs> euphemism, including Patriot systems. And here it says that Germany would provide them with, let's see, with two Patriot systems. Uh, more tanks, it says here, it was, it was on short notice made decision of the German government to make the package again about almost 700 million euros. So they could send 700 million euros on short notice all right <laughs> which means murders in infantry fight fighting vehicles and leopards and ammunition and patriot air defense systems and so on so it's another really huge package altogether we will have spent more than 17 billion euros good job pistorius said at 2023 nato public forum during nato heads of state summit in Vil vilnius vilnius so there you have it good job the package all right, here it is. Schultz later confirmed the information. So um, do what you can do here. Providing two, because I knew I read two. Two Patriot systems to Kiev. Uh, on top of that, infantry fighting vehicles and leopard and ammunition. Now this on top of this change, Ukraine form today, France to hand over long range scalp missiles to Ukraine. And that has a uh, range of up to 500 kilometers away and that is if you go here different distance from kiev to moscow straight line 758 kilometers flying and as i showed earlier if you uh, that's from kiev if you bring it close to the border with the russian border it's gonna get to maybe about 500 just enough for this thing's scalp missiles to work all right the missiles travel at a speed of uh, 1000 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 30 kilometers 30 kilometers good job man good job so and what is russia going to do we're going to respond all right well that's their war and i'm starting to think that actually is a they're pretty much uh them against uh weasels just go work uh, pay your taxes supposedly you have freedom of speech here very limited and then uh, you know just uh, go and vote for uh, you know to support democracy the greatest thing on this planet and so on i'm still uh, I, i'm i'm becoming um, 
I don't know, I'm turning into, I don't want to say turning into, it's a bad, uh, I'm starting to think, to reach a conclusion uh, that all this thing in Ukraine is, uh, here's the ball, give me the ball, I give the ball, give me the ball, and we are the audience paying for the ticket, which is paying taxes. We're paying the ticket to watch this uh, uh, ball game between two guys that are in the same team, seems to me, uh, more or less, and uh, people are dying in Ukraine, people are dying in Russia, uh, the economic uh, consequences are seen in Europe, United States, and in other uh, parts of the world, and uh, you know, we put our bets on these guys and those guys, and we think, oh man, you think those guys are the good guys, I think the other guys are the good guys, and you destroy friendships and uh, other things based on these guys playing ball. And makes you think, oh my god, yes, their guys are fighting for the values. Uh, we both think that, we both think that, hey, our guys, no, no, our guys, there's no such thing of our guys, it's them and it's us. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come, uh, uh, come with some um, extra, actually, with, I think with a conclusion, I need two more pieces of evidence to make my case and say, okay, this is what I found based on this evidence that I gathered, you know, with time. And I say, it is very uh, probable, possible it is possible, 100% possible, probable, I would say, it is probable this percentage, you know, let's say I would come with about something about 90 at least, certainty that it is the way I think it is. But right now I'm waiting for two more so I can build my case so I can reach it uh, and say, hey, if I say 90%, I have, I need more than about seven uh, pieces of evidence, important ones. I want to go to about, I don't know, nine or so. So when I'm going to enumerate them, I'm going to get you lost in them. Say, oh, look at this guy, how many he's got. Oh yeah, that one, yeah, oh yeah. If I come only with seven, you're going to say, that's it. So it's just for my uh, comfort and I will get them. Why? Because these guys who play right now volleyball over the net and we paid for the ticket and make our bets and we destroy friendships and family and so on because we think we are right, uh, you know, they will provide us. They will provide us with abundance of evidence. The last one that I will mention here is these guys in NATO bring weapons almost everything. There's two things that these guys did not bring in, uh, in Ukraine against the Russians. Overt troops, like, hey, these are our troops, we're gonna bring out 100,000 uh, NATO troops. That is not there like that. We have volunteers and peacekeeping and uh, inspectors and all other euphemisms, right? They didn't say it yet. That's one, even though so there's some uh, leaks saying that, oh my God, yeah, they're over there, special forces and uh, CIA operating, you know, covertly and all that. I have no doubt with that, but that's not enough as a real 100,000 NATO troops over there. And nuclear weapons. There will be no nuclear weapons, that's for sure, brought in by NATO in Ukraine yet. Only after Russia, Russia uh, loses, then they will probably deploy it over there, if it will be necessary. Because if Russia loses, you don't need uh, nuclear weapons anymore over there, because Russia was going to be incorporated as a desert desert we take that we take that you do this you do this you do this and we tell you everyone what to do uh, and those guys do what we're going to uh, respond yeah i've seen those responses uh, so that's all uh, these guys are bringing now uh long-range missiles we're gonna bring f-16s good or bad as they are they're gonna bring more uh, tanks they're gonna bring abrams they're gonna bring uh, more leopard tanks the French bring their garbage tank from 1960s, the wheeled one, uh, but it's a tank. And uh, armored vehicles, I think the Russians claim that they killed, they killed, they destroyed about 1,000 armored vehicles in the counteroffensive in a month. 1,000? Anyway, and you just kill them, destroy them, and they bring more, you destroy them, bring more, destroy them, and waiting for what? For some, one of these guys to crack? We are the ones who pay the tickets for these guys to play. If we don't pay the tickets, these guys cannot play. So go and vote and uh, pay the ticket. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.